delivery dates of social security benefit payments and $1,400 stimulus check specifically focused on social security including retirement, disability, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, SSI, RRB. I have got all the important details you need to know right here in this video. So guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so today in this video, I wanted to provide some more details on a potential for the fourth stimulus check so you can know what to look out for. And most importantly, we'll be also covering the social security benefit schedule right here in this video. So watch this video till then. And we have got a couple of important updates. So let's get right into all the details. Alright guys, now here's the thing. The money is the tight thing right now, especially for low income, fixed income households. But I want to let you know that I'm right over here to help you in any way, shape or form that I can. So without further ado, let me deep down to all the details. So guys, this is the busy time and Congress is working out on many of the legislation. So it's worth keeping eye on to many of the important announcements from the federal government or Congress. And now speaking of the potential of the stimulus check and who could be potentially included, what type of stimulus check it could be when it comes out and why exactly government will be issuing stimulus check in this particular scenario. Also how much the stimulus money could be and when can you able to receive it. We have got all the details and I'll be breaking down all the details, all the questions, speculations right here in this video. So let's get right into it. Now in the event of the stimulus check, while deciding Federal Reserve looks at the economy and they determine how much stimulus does the economy need, how much money is required in order to help people recover, then the money is then printed out and pushed into the economy. Although one thing to note though, Federal Reserve is providing stimulus money, it's not out of their kindness, it's because they know if money is given to the people, they will be going to spend it and this is the best way to get economy up and running once again and the main intention of the stimulus money is that those money will be quickly spent into the economy and should not be saved into people's bank account. This is because you know what government recognizes the importance of getting money into the economy quickly and very efficient. If let's say people save their stimulus check, they are not helping out economy as much as they could be. The government wants to spend all of the money into the form of the all the stimulus check in different sectors of the economy such as groceries, clothing and many more and through this way money is spread out through the entire economy and positive impact will be generated. Many studies have showed that it's the best way to get money into the economy through the stimulus checks so when it comes down to the next round of stimulus check government thinks that it's very important to spend it and you can buy groceries, clothes and other items that you need and this is the way that you are helping out economy also taking care of your own needs as well. So well what does this mean for businesses? Well when we all get the stimulus check we all go out and spend them. We basically go out to Walmart, Target and all of a the sudden these businesses are seeing huge run into their inventory and they look at their inventory and they see that it has been wiped out out of the stock in the matter of days. So basically they have to reach their suppliers and order more items and their suppliers have to go to the manufacturer in order to manufacture more items. It's a basically a chain effect. It's like food chain. It's like a domino effect that keeps everything going and it doesn't take much for it. You know what to start this effect to stimulate the economy. You can see entire economy is just stimulated in a matter of week or two. When it comes down to the stimulus check, it's the great way to stimulate the economy. They are effective. They don't take long and basically causes huge impact on the businesses, people and those who really need it. I hope this has provided you with a great example, the economic cycle and how it affects you economy and how stimulus checks are the best way. Now guys, in the event of the stimulus check, this could be the difficult question to answer as it ultimately depends on the economic situation. However, if economic situation was similar to what was in the early 2020, then it was likely that the same criteria will be used for this time as well. And speaking of what type of a stimulus check would it be, well again, it's little bit more predictable. I believe that it could be similar to the third stimulus check as it would be the same amount for the last one. It means that it could be $1,400, $1,200, $2,000 or probably $1,600. And of course, these amounts can depend on the eligibility and other sorts of factors. You know what? I'm watching very, very closely what government is saying. And you might be getting question, why would government issue stimulus check? Now, this is an interesting question because you know what government is talking about it because they want to stimulate the economy they want to give out money to people in order to help out businesses and those businesses to 
stay sustained and history repeats itself. In the last stimulus check that we have seen included about 85% of the population and that's about like 280 million Americans and this would likely hold true if another round of stimulus check were approved. So will fixed income beneficiaries like social security, retirement, SSDI, SSI, VA beneficiaries, RRB will be included? Well the simple answer is yes. All of these groups were included in the last three rounds of stimulus check so there is no reason I can see I can think of right now that these specific groups will be not included. Now the question is how much can we expect? It's a little bit more complicated. Now the next stimulus check would be as much as $2,400 although on high end what is expected? Well a more realistic range is between $1,200 going all the way until $2,000 depending on the eligibility and various sorts of other criteria. But again, we'll just have to wait and see what will get approved. Now, the dynamics of the situation are such that if economy continues to collapse, then there is a high likelihood of another round of stimulus check which is being issued. And you know what? The amount of the money which is given out at stimulus is determined by how bad economy really needs the money. So based on that, I would expect the amount of the check would be anywhere between $1,200 all the way until $2,000. Well, the timing of the check also is important when the economy gets at a point where government must intervene in order to help out people and that is the time when the stimulus check will be issued. So it's very important to keep eye on to all the different parameters which in turn increases the possibility of next round of stimulus check. As of right now it's difficult to predict when this will happen as it will totally depend on the severity of economic crisis and government response to it. Now when it comes down to those key indicators, those key factors of the economy and the overall performance of the economy, we need to watch out the jobs number. This usually happens when economy is showing the signs of contraction. But when the jobs are gained, the economy is expanding. This means that businesses are growing and new startups are starting up, meaning that more people need to be hired and more taxes are being paid. However, guys, currently we are seeing ship in the job market with higher paying jobs being lost while lower paying jobs are being created and this is not ideal. Government is closely monitoring the jobs market at the end of the day. Jobs are very important for our economy and we need to continue to monitor the jobs market closely to make sure that economy grows sustainably. We definitely all know that economy is not in the best state right now. We have seen the businesses contracting resulting in many job losses. This means that unemployment rate is increasing probably not at that particular rate but it's still increasing. Recently Federal Reserve has been raising the interest rate to help control it. Now the problem is that when the economy falls too far contracting federal reserve steps in to help doing something called quantitative easing also known as QE. Now quantitative easing is essentially just printing bunch of money and start injecting those money into the economy. Basically this is what called as stimulus check. Now quantitative easing helps out support economy by increasing the inflation which keeps the prices of the goods and services up which also keeps people employed. Now talking about the federal reserve and its strategy of printing out money or quantitative easing as it known. As you may know for years Federal Reserve has been printing about 120 billion dollars every month or you could say they are printing I mean literally changing the digits onto the computer and creating new money that is very sophisticated and smart way of printing money. Now guys when economy is contracting Federal Reserve prints the money even more money hundreds and billions of dollars and this money is pushed out into the businesses the unemployed and the people in the form of stimulus check and other forms of relief and it's a closed loop system basically. Now guys speaking of the current update on fourth stimulus check whether it's $1,200, $1,400, $1,600, $2,000 or any value for that matter. As of right now none of the fourth federal level stimulus check have been approved by government congress. So just to be clear on this one guys so there should be no confusion about it. Once I get any latest update I will keep you posted 